On the one hand, we see the big, broad, global world that we've built and how powerful it is. And on the other hand, the small individual, I don't know, some merchant in the Chinese market, who knows who and what he is, but he can actually be the one to make such dramatic changes. And so we'd like to first of all understand what is the power, the force of an individual in this global reality. There is this law in the wisdom of Kabbalah that's very simple, comprehensive, and well-known that's called the general and the particular are equal. The collective is just a collection of individuals, and therefore the collective depends on each and every individual. And you can't extract one small individual out of the collective in order not to break it. And even if you destroy the tiniest part in the collective, it'll no longer be the collective, the general. It's now flawed and deficient of that part that was extracted from it. So we look at that little particle. What is that? A tiny, corrupted virus. But really, it's showing us the corruption that we made in the entire larger system on the biological level, which is the highest level of nature. Above that, there are only the thoughts and intentions of people. And that's the problem on the one hand. On the other hand, we have to understand that everything starts from the head as it says. And therefore, if there is some kind of corruption in the biological system, it comes from the system of thoughts and desires, which is higher than the biological level. And therefore, we have to understand what's wrong with our relationships, with man's relation towards himself, towards others, towards mankind in general, that we're creating these biological distortions, deviations like this virus. Probably there is a problem in the relationships between us that they're not integral, that we have already broken all the laws of the integral nature, not allowing it to function correctly, and therefore the entire shattering that we bring to the whole of nature, in which everything has to be interconnected and in balance, and probably we corrupted things so badly there that it's revealed now in this viral way that really hurts everyone. And it really does hurt everyone because we live in an integral world.